In this video, we'll see the first angle and third angle projection system. The first angle and third angle projection are depend on the locations of the object relative to the projection plane and then the observer and also the quadrant system. First angle projection will be implemented on the first quadrant as you just look into this. And then the other thing is the object is placed between the observer and then the projection plane. For example, if you want to construct the front views of this object, it will be projected on the projection planes of this. That means the object is between the observer and the projection plane. But when we come to the third angle projection, it is a vice versa. That means the projection plane will be placed between the observer and the object. And then it is also in the third quadrant. So assume the object is inside this box. So if you want to construct the front view, the front view will be constructed over this plane that means the plane is between the object and the observer so the first angle projection will be differentiated from the third angle projection with just two cases and then let's see the projections of the object on both cases to make it simple just let's assume that for first angle projection, we use a light system. That means a light system means if you just give a light source from this direction, that means from the observer side, then the shadow of that object will be created behind that object. That means it will be on the projection plane. And then on the third angle projection, we are just trying to trace the features of that object like a transparent glass box system. In the third angle projection, it could be just the projection plane is assuming as a transparent. That means it have to show us the detailed information of that object inside the box. And then we have to clearly look into that surface. So in this case, we can use a camera shoot. That means we'll just use a camera here and then take the uh, photos of that object. So the first angle projection, we use a light system and for the third angle projection, we use a camera system. So for the first angle projection, if you just give a light source from this direction, the shadow of the surface, for example, the first surface here will be reflected back on the surface just like this one. And then the other one, every feature should be reflected onto that one. So we have two additional surfaces. So the two additional surfaces will be also projected into this way. To make it simple, let me show you with a 3D modeling technique here. So I will show you the views of the object in different direction. That means if you just look this object, it is just as it is. But when you just rotate a little bit into this way and then align into the front side, so it will have this shape. So this is the front views of the object. That means we are looking from this direction. When you just look from this direction, you see only the three surfaces. And then when you just try to look into the other direction on the other dimension, we can simply use a little bit into this way. That means when we are looking from the right direction, you see this shape. That means you'll see this L shape just like this one. But the other thing, here is also the surface behind this. Let me show you in this way, this surface. So this is the surface, but we didn't see that one because it's covered with the previous one but we have to project it as there is some surface behind that object. So to project that, we are using a hidden line. That means there is a surface or there is a feature that is covered by the other surfaces just like this one. So the hidden line will show us some surface is also created here. But the precedences of lines, since object lines will check the priority, the only this vertical line will be projected into this way. You can refer the video link which is attached in the description to look into more videos related to these issues. But in this concept, I will show you only the what the first and the third angle projection is. So when you are just looking the object from this side, we get this shape. And then what will be the object when we are looking from the top? That means when we just emit the light from the top, what will be the object's dimension? So let me show you this part. So this can be when you look from the top view. So this is just the object. So you'll see these two surfaces. I hope you understand the views from different direction. So let's just project on the third angle projection system. So in the third angle projection system, we use the camera system. That means we'll just trace back the object's layout or contour on the plane. That is the plane is between the observer or here in the cameraman and then the object. So when you see that, the object can be constructed into this way. 
So they will have the same surface and the front views in the first and the third angle systems are the same. So the first surface will be projected in this way. So you will have this shape and the second surfaces will be projected into this way. And the third surfaces will be also projected into this way. This is from the third angle projection. That means we are constructing the front views of this object by the first and the third angle projection. Now let's just uh, take the right side views of the object. That means on the first angle projection, we'll emit a light just like this. And then once you emit that, you'll get the surface. That means the previous surface, the L-shaped surface. And then the other surfaces inside this one will be also projected into this way. And then it will be a headed line as uh, I show you with uh, the video. That means really modeling video. And then the other thing is, when we are just looking with the third angle projection, so the layouts of the objects will be the same, but the plane is between the object and then the camera. In the first angle projection, if you look at that, the object is between the plane and the observer. So in this case, the surfaces will be projected back into the plane and then it will be just like this one. And then the hidden surface or the hidden objects will be projected with the hidden line here. And then I will have this part. And then the other thing is when we are just looking from the top view, from the top view on the first angle projection, you will emit the light from the top side and then the layouts of that object will be traced back on the lowers of the object. That means that is on a top view. So we call it as a top views of the object. So the top views of the object will be placed on this horizontal uh, plane. So one that let's just project the first one. If you just project that, so you will get the surface here. And then the other one, the next surface will be projected also, and then it will have the surface. So you'll get the two surfaces. And then those two views are also the same as the third angle projection. The only difference is the places of the object. So it will be on the plane that means between the object and the observer. And then you can trace back it and then you will get that object just like this. And then the second surfaces will be projected into this one. So we get three principal views of the object from the front view, from the side view, and then from the top view. So once we get this, let's just construct it and then make them as a standard view. That means with a horizontal surface as, as just parallel to your screen. Now, the previous one is for the first angle projection, as you look over here, uh, the two lines will be folding line. That means we'll fold the object into to be horizontal. I will show you this later. And then the other thing is this surface, or in this case, this will be X axis, this will be Y axis, and this will be Z axis. So the Z axis will be cut out or we'll tear this part up to this one, just like this. So we'll tear out this part. That means we'll just separate the two planes. And then once we separate the two planes, we can unfold it and then we can make it with a standard view. So finally, you will have this structure. So once you rotate that, you will get such types of thing. And then for the certain angle projection, we can use these two folding lines. Normally, the folding lines are the lines which round the front view. If you just look from the first angle projection, the two lines were round the front view or cover the front view, just like this one, that means the intersections of the front view with the other views. And then the same case for the third angle projection, the folding lines are the line which will just intersect the top and the right side view here. So they will just include the front view. Once we have this folding line, the other line or the other corner will be cut out in this way. So if you just cut out this and then rotate into this part, so finally you will get this thing. So just make them into the horizontal plane. So finally we'll get this thing. So if you just get the two things, this is the front view, this is the right side view, and this is the top view in the first angle projection. And the third angle projection, the front view is here, the right side view is here, and then the top view is here. But just look into the positions of there. If you look over the first angle projection, the right side view is placed on the left of the front view. And then the top view is placed on the bottom of the front view. Did you see this? This is for the first angle projection. In the third angle projection, the right side view is placed on the right of the front view. And then the top view is placed on the top of the front view. So the third angle projection is that the views will be placed on their order. That means the top will be placed on the top. The right will be placed on the right. If there is a left, the left will be on the left. The bottom will be on the bottom. But for the first angle projection, the top will be on the bottom. The right will be placed on the left and the left will be also in the right direction. So the two view location will be also different on the first angle and then in the third angle projection.
So where the first angle and the third angle projections are applicable can be also discussed a little bit here. That means in the first angle projection, most of the time it's an ISO standard. So the ISO standard, that means the standard projection system is the first angle projection. And also it is popular in most European country as well as in Ethiopia, first angle projection is implemented. On the other hand, a third angle projection is popular in uh, USA, Japan, and Thailand. So different countries will uh, follow their own angle projection system. So uh, most of uh, them uh, will be just related to this one, but the ISO standard is the first angle projection. Sometimes you'll get a chance to observe such types of symbols on the footer of any projection system. That means sketching for different purpose. If the circular part is on the right sides of the given quadrilateral part here, I will show you later what this means. So that means it's first angle projection. And then if the circle is on the left sides of the given object, that means this quadrilateral shape, that means it is a third angle projection. Normally, these uh, symbols are standard symbols to represent this is done with a first angle projection and this is done with a third angle projection. Those standard symbols are just the projections of the frostum right cone here, just like this one. This is a two objectives. If it is projected with a first angle projection, it is front view. Assume this is a front and this is a side view. And then if you just look into this one, if you project this one into the surface, you'll get this shape. And then if you just project this lens, so it will have two circular parts and then it will have this shape. And then when we see just the third angle projection, it will be the plane will be between the observer and then the object. So once you do that, if you project that, you will get this surface. And then when you look from the side, then you will get the surface. So finally, you'll have this two shape. So this is just the projections of Rostam right cone. And then finally, you'll have such types of symbols. So after this, if you just get any multi-view drawing or constructed a two-dimensional drawing or projection having such types of symbols so you can just understand which one is constructed with first and which one is with third angle projection so it's the most important thing that when you complete every multi-view drawing you have to put the symbols to express this is just done with first angle projection or this is just done with third angle projection so these are the most important informations related to the projections of view Thank you for watching and see you soon.